The screen's recording. Let's give this another shot. The camera stopped before, so that was weird. All right, you know what time it is. Taylor made ASMR family. I'm so glad to see you again on part four of the Twin Mirror Saga. If you have not watched parts one, two, three, or four, please do not watch the rest of this video. Start from the beginning and watch um, part one of the Twin Mirror game. It's really good. The story is really good. It's a good whodunit thriller if you're into that type of game. If you're into that type of field, this is the game for you. So again, this is Taylor Made ASMR. My name is Lady Ashley Taylor Made, and um, this is not your traditional ASMR video, but it is relaxing to me. So since this is my channel, I want to bless you with something that I like to relax to. And you can do the same. You can turn it down low. I didn't record it very high because it's not meant to be loud. So just sit back, get you some popcorn or a blanket and a pillow, and let's jump right into the game. I'm excited to see where we're going. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert. I'm catching us up again. Remember, in part three, Dennis was found dead. Also, we also figured I'm out that Nick's here. car accident was not such an accident after all. It was actually someone behind it. So we've got two murders and um, we're trying to figure out what's really going on in this town. Like Basswood's supposed to be a quiet place. What's going on? So now, um, oh, on top of that, while we were figuring out that Nick was killed instead of accidentally dying in a car crash, our girl Anna, her home was broken into. So now we're back at her house. Her father's concerned. You know, he's asked Sam, hey, which is us, we're playing the role of Sam. Please look out for my daughter. And now we just gotta, we just gotta see what's going on. This is get. this has gotten really juicy. I'm excited, I'm ready to do it. Let's jump in. No more talkie talkie. Lego. Sometimes you need to go. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, you gotta subscribe to my channel. You better hit that notification bell and stay in touch with your girl. Like I like hanging out with you, and you like hanging out with me, so you might as well. All right, let's do it. I'm ready. I was like, oh, it's good for next. I'm ready. I, I want to know. I kind of, I think I know who. I ain't going to say it though. All right, so this is where we left off. Um, we said we better take a look around before we go inside. Um, so we're going to do just that. See what Anna has hanging around her house. Oh, Neptune. Oh. A little sitting, sitting area, okay. So right before we, um, well, right at the end of part three, when we found out that Anna's house had been broken into, we said we were gonna take a look around, so that's what we're doing. It was great to come back from work, sit down and read until the sun went down. I remember he used to live here because uh, he tried Anna to and I spent our nights out here trying to find all the constellations. He tried to propose, but she was not feeling it. So, I don't know. Let's see what's going on. Okay. Well, makeshift guard, what you planting? Planted within the last year. Doing well. Nick and his green thumb. Oop. These were planted by Nick. My old best friend. 
That's right, she did say they moved in together. Locks and tag, I was locked up. She did say they moved in together. I had to think about that for a second. Like, hey, what? She said they got in serious and moved in together. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. So Joan used to hang out with um, Anna and Nick. <laughs> Shattered glass. This is how whoever it was broke into the house. Okay. Let's go on in and see what's going on. It's all somber and quiet. Let's see what's up. is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you, are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something, anything. It's the thought, the effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. Do something. She kept the drinks in the kitchen in one of the pantries. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? Uh, no, we'd like to no. get our drink. And now's not the time for that. Let's see what's she got in the fridge. Oh. I need to get to Charleston, West Virginia. Dodge. Uh, so we can't open the fridge because all you can do is look at the stuff on the fridge. What's in here? Uh, no drinks in here. No drinks. Okay. Anna, honey, you might be drinking water. Uh, who, who threw out a fruit and stuff on the floor? Like, what was the point? Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. Bingo. Mm. I'm gonna get her some whiskey. She needs some strong. Mm-hmm. There you go. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. Exactly. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. Oh, do I have it in my hand? Oh, a wine bottle. Empty it onto the floor. Mm. Anything else?
might take the edge off. That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... This is just so fucked. Nick? My house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this, like, the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break into my house? God, I can't help but being pissed at Nick for being dead. It makes no sense. It's all just... a lot. I, I used to feel safe here, and now... Sorry, I just... Thanks, Sam. It's all right. A lot has happened in the last few hours. Mm-hmm. She didn't look like she wanted me to force that drink on her. Like, she knows it's there. Let's see what else we can see in the house. Let me see if we can find some clues or information. Hmm. A New Perspective by Anna Miller, February 18th, 2016. Each year, Greenmont Primary School showcases new talent in an art contest. Amidst a jungle of creativity, one particular piece caught my eye, a sort of cryptic cryptid figure that refused to reveal its true nature to me. Unable to perceive, oh, excuse me, unable to pierce the paper, young Timothy Brown had to step in. It's interactive, he said, pointing at a bump. You have to fold it out, one layer after another. The truth revealed itself. The cryptid slowly gave, gave way to a map of basswood. If you think you've seen it all, take a moment to look at what the new generation has to bring. You might be surprised, as I was. No, you might be surprised, I was. <laughs> Medical bills. Anna has to be helping her dad out um, with these. I can't. I'm not sure it's enough. Oh. Anna would pace around the house for hours, then sit down and write her articles in one go. Sam, what are you doing? Um, I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Mm. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Cheesy action movies, dark thrillers, and human rights. The melting pot of Anna. Mm. Most sociology, history, and writing manuals. Mostly. Same as before. Pillows. Feels like the only part of the house I recognize. That seems like that would be Whatever a comfy. punk broke in here wrecked it. A comfy spot to sit at by the window and read something. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at him have to clean up. He's like, I got you, babe. Let me help clean up some of this stuff. That's all I'm talking about. There. Yeah. Make you feel better. All right, let's see what else we got. Oh, music sheet. Mm, from Anna's music, uh-huh. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would've crushed her if that was gone. Mm -hmm. 
Anna always has trouble thinking when there's weird noises going on. To be fair, most people do. Like that. Whatever that is, it'd be smart to find it and shut it off. Sounds like blinds on the windows open. So, oh, Nick and Anna in a photo together. That's spicy. Mm. That's the best thing. Ugh. He said, I got it from here. Ooh. All right, let's go see. It sounds like blinds, literally. Finally, there. Making all that noise, save point. Thank you. Picture, yeah, mm-hmm. Yep, can I go in here? Nope. Let's see. Let's see. We've already explored, can I go in this door? No, I can't. No, we've already done that. All right, well, let's go on upstairs. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though, Go. stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone. Mm-hmm. Let's show her some love. She needs it. Hold up. Try talking to Anna about all this again. And remember, go in slowly, gingerly. Weren't you just on the steps? Did you just teleport here? Like, oh my gosh. It's so cool. Mm. Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Mm-mm. Yes, it was gonna be okay. I'm here for you. You and me both, I'm here for you. Whatever happens, you're not alone. Yeah. We'll face it together. Yeah. 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 She needed Thank to you. hear that. Oh. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Mm -hmm. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights. Mm. At the bar or the fishing shack. Come home late, refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. Mm. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this Different off her face, chest. The same energy. Don't be too mm -hmm. harsh on her. You attract what you are, not what you want. Fix you, boo. We're both to blame. It's not. Boy, no. If we're both to blame. That's not fair. I deserve that. Let's say, um. Uh, that's not fair. There was no need to go for the throat, Anna. Because she went kind of deep. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. I don't know why I said it. Mm -hmm. It's just having you in the house. It's, it's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. Mm, yeah. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you, you understand why I said no, right? Do we? Timing was off. You didn't want me. I didn't listen to you or ask him. I didn't listen to you. You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. Right? You know? That's all we want, just to listen to us. It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. 
The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Mm. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone uh -oh. to truly share my life. Wait a minute. To make compromises and all that. Self-reflection. Mm, it wasn't your fault. I'm not Nick. It wasn't doomed. It wasn't doomed. It wasn't doomed. It's just like every relationship. Mm -hmm. It requires a lot of work from everyone involved. Whether people are ready to put in the work, well, that's different. Mm -hmm. I think we weren't. Not really. No. At least I wasn't. Good to see you realized that. Maybe. We were... we were younger. Different. It feels like a lifetime has passed. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... I need to clear my name. I'm not leaving you alone. Of course, of course. I want to know who killed Nick as much as you do. Right, that was my best Let's friend. get the asshole who did this behind bars. It's the only thing we can do for Nick now. Mm -hmm. I just keep bouncing back from terrified to angry. Mm. That is very understandable. Mm. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. Mm. We haven't checked our journal in a while. We're gonna go upstairs, get a nice window view. <laughs> yep, it's nice outside, yep. Okay, let's go ahead and check our journal. All right, so, so far we're in the, in the investigation. Anna's had a lot to deal with. Nick's death and then the break-in. We've cleared the air about some things we left unsaid before. Now, I should go upstairs, establish how bad the damage is. So out of the three things we needed to do, we found a way to comfort Anna, we talked to Anna, and now it's time to look around upstairs. <coughs> Start with this room. It looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Oh. Okay. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Junk. What's she trying to get to work? Why are you sleeping? awake? No, I'm not. Then how are oh. you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep doctor. Come on, get up. I need your help. Mm -mm. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. Yeah. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will my princess of the typefaces. Of course. When you fix it. <laughs> Not your standard thief. Too destructive. 
Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Spicy a little bit. It's a little spicy. Not too much. But enough. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. Oh, the restroom. Oh. This little thief didn't leave any toilet paper untied. You put the toilet paper on the floor, my dude. Dang. Well, it could have been a woman. I said my dude, like, it could be, could be a man or a woman. Who knows? Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. Mm. It felt like mine once, but it never was. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. Mm. You could have told him, Anna, without laughing at him, girl. I guess Anna must have left it on, but she had her laptop with her. Is this Nick's? What? A transfer in progress? What? Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? Whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Are you serious right yeah. now? The headache isn't as bad as the uh, one I had this morning. I couldn't get no. a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. What? I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? Find Nick's secrets, find the man who counts. Me. Find Nick's backup files. Let's find the backup files. We need Nick's <coughs> backups. If he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't I don't think so. I I don't. Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns. I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Mm-hmm. Let's go do it. Your father called, said there'd been a break-in. Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? Right. They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. Mm. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. Uh, I'm to get Sorry, I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go. Mm. Mm. What is something tickling my ear? Oh my gosh. What is it? Yeah. Oh my god, it. Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? And that's what Dennis said. He said, you think you know your friend? I think he was such an angel and a cool guy. You don't know nothing. Oh. 
Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's go in here. It's obvious to go in here. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. What? Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Girl. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Girl. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. You should at least call your mom. My mom? She's hardly even there. She's always so... Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. <coughs> your mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look, I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Hmm. You should open up to your mom. Don't make the mistake I did. You can always count on me. Don't make the same mistake I did. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. Mm. My dad I could rely on. Mm. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial. She's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me. No one cares. I warned him to trust me. I'm investigating. Everyone cares. I care. I believe you, and I'm investigating like you asked. Oh, so I'm mistaken and you did question people? Or did you just say all those dumb things adults say that don't mean anything? They wouldn't have told me anything interesting. Or you were just like them. This place is full of gutless patronizing adults. And I'm sick of this dumb little town. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think. Not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years! Something with insects. You could be a journalist. We've talked about this. You ever consider journalism? You have a mind for investigation. Um, isn't it kind of dying? Yeah, that's what makes it beautiful. Fighting to bring people truth in a world that doesn't care about it. <laughs> kind of sounds like you really want to be a journalist. Look, I don't know if you're trying to make me stay or make me into you, or my father. You're just telling me what I want to hear. Uh-oh, what you gonna do? Or what you think I want to hear. Uh-oh, what you gonna do? I just want the truth, for once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going, and you can't stop me. Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. 
Do you right. want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Right. Do Don't the do responsible that. thing. Make her stay. Mm -hmm. It's for her own good. Threaten to call her mom, tell the truth about Nick. If I tell the truth about Nick, she's so ambitious. She might go try and figure this out for herself and get herself hurt. Come on now, little girl. Hey. I'll call your mother. What? Don't. I'll call her right now. Don't. You can't just run away. Fine. I'll go home. Don't call her. It's for your own good, Bug. It's too dangerous for you out there. Whatever. You're just like everyone else. I know, honey, but Ooh, I'm trying to keep you out of trouble, boo. But fair. Sorry, bug. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town... Mm. Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. Mm. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. Man, Bugs certainly grew up faster than I realized. I did one of those as a child. Did y'all do one of those? She still has a long way to go. One of those height charts where you, your mom or dad or family member keeps track of your height as you grow on a wall in your house and you get to actually see yourself grow. Mine was in my basement. Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. Mm. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. Mm. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? What a fishy hiding spot, Nick. Always did love your cliches. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. Because remember, we're trying to find those backup files. Hello, backup files, where are you? Some drugs. These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Oh. Very addictive. Mm. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Mm. That's what she said. She just takes her pills and sits in the chair after work. And it repeats the cycle every day. Mm. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? Hmm. Remember, caterpillar. Okay. That's odd. Remember, caterpillar. 
Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. See what's on his calendar. All right. D wants to meet. Oh, remember D from the email? It has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Says, oh. Almost missed something. One small community looks out for those that fall through the cracks by Ann Miller. I'm interviewing Tyler, a man of few words in his mid twenties and heavily tattooed about the place he lives and why he's here. It's cold enough that I regret not bringing a second jacket. His hands, however, are not shaking because of the cold. This is his seventh relapse. On his second relapse, he lost his girlfriend. On the fourth, his family. The one after that, he attempted to rob his parents' home, was instead beaten nearly to death by his father. Oh. It's not like I wanted to, it's not like I wanted to hurt them. I just needed the money and I felt so bad that I thought I was dying. My parents' place was the only place I knew for sure there was some crap I could sell. Dad caught me. I tried to talk to him, but he whipped my ass, beat me with a lamp. I don't blame him. I didn't fight back. I was too ashamed. I needed a whooping. I still need a whooping. <laughs> Lynette Branham, 52, with graying hair, looks on with compassionate eyes. Lynette is the one that owns the land and sets the rules. She's judge, jury, and executioner when it comes to deciding who stays and who goes. This place is called The Cove. When the local mine closed, a lot of people found themselves out of work and some of them had no places to go. No place to go. Drugs and crimes made them fall into the patterns desperate people often fall into. And Lynette found some of them camping out on her property. She let them stay as long as they, as long as they follow two rules, no stealing and no fighting. Though she's had to kick a lot of people out over the years, it's not always permanent. In fact, she just let one of them back in. He does not want to be named, but has a lot in common with Tyler. A bad relationship with his family, a mother with her own drug abuse issues, and a history of violent offenses. This young man explained to me why he came back. I can't make it out there. Everyone's hassling me, and I'm just trying not to hassle myself. He has trouble staying still and looks ready to keel over any moment. Yet he's also got a depth to him that's striking was sober for half a year once. Can't remember the first time I drank. Broke into Ma's liquor cabinet when I was five. Lynette shakes her head as she finishes, as he finishes up. She'll let me stay, he says. I ask him how he knows. She'll have come over and told me to get out right then, he answers. It's true. Lynette lets him stay as long as he promises to try again. She has a lot of patience. You have to, she tells me after the young man goes to lie down. Everyone has their own way of dealing with pain. The path to mistakes comes in lots of forms, some of them pretty invisible, unless you look for it. We all stumble sometimes. Most people take a few tries to get back up after being knocked down. If someone isn't there to help them, they just fall back over. The cove gives me hope. Okay. All right. That's a good article. I think I went through everything here. Let's see what we got now. So Tyler is in his mid twenties and has tattoos. I wonder if that's the guy we ran into in the pharmacy in the other episode, the second one. Okay. 
All right, so we got the notes. Anything else? Well, that should be it. Right? Article. If Nick kept this, it means it's important. Just have to figure out why. So, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. He's tickling my ears. Guys, there we go. This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. Okay. All right, guess it's time to go. Oh, it won't let me walk back to her yet. Okay, so I'm forgetting to do something. Mm. Oh, that's not, that's not a walk on the side. So. Now, this record is fraudulent. Nick stretched his fish to beat mine. I was right there. I was like, what? A... <laughs> Whoever killed Nick, I probably know him. Grew up with them. Hmm. Even if you don't know them, they know you. Nick, Dennis, gone. Stone Cold Killer walks the streets of Basswood. Mm. Things like this can really make you feel isolated, make you realize that at the end of the day, you're in this alone. Mm -mm, where'd Twin go? <laughs> What? I still can't leave? What the? You know what? Tell a three-year-old kid about Tardigrade Man, and this is what happens. I should be able to go, seriously.
I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. Fishing memories. I remember fishing with my dad when I was little. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Oh, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. No? Oh my gosh. Nick, what were you hiding in this bag that's so Oh my important? gosh, I had to pick up, up the bag. <laughs> Is that what it was? Oh my nerve. Oh, oh Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. Alright, so we got... Ow! More caterpillar. Yellow, red, blue. Yellow, red. Blue green. What the? Let's see what we have here. Yo, I totally guessed that. <laughs> Files, aha, back of files. That's what we're looking for. Hello, back of files. Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Opioids from D. Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Richard, AKA Dickie, AKA D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer 
And he also had a lot of cash on hand, more than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. She should. So that's the guy he ran into in the pharmacy in um, part two of this series of The Twin Mirror. I'll arrive soon, let's go. Bess finally left. Did you find anything at the fish fry? Yes. Do you know where the cove is? It's a little commune thing on the outskirts of town. Not big on outsiders. Let's go, baby. We going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's down. Mm. Memories. I get it. Somebody watching? Ooh. Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are the you two is a doing? Woman. The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you found. That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. Listen a to sort Anna. of commune. Lynette, who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and... You'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. Oh, so they already got a chip on their shoulder about... So... Sam, How should we handle us. finding Dickie? Do whatever it takes or play it by ear. Let's play it by ear. You and I are gonna figure something out together. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful. And look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options here. Real life isn't as clear as the world in your head. Just know the more you poke around, the more likely the world pokes back. And whoever is involved in all this, they poke real hard. If that even makes any sense. That's rough. That's rough? Were you even listening to me? Uh, mostly. Mostly. Sam, what is with you? Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. You're getting... That's not fair. Shut up! Sam! I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just going to keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. Oh. You gonna go away? Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Oh. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 This is the... <laughs> Okay. They're giving us these tidbits, these tidbits. And I'm gonna take a big bite. Mm. Mm. Sam, you sure you wanna keep going? And we're gonna pause right there. I do wanna keep going, but 
Ooh. I have a feeling we're gonna see, oh, this is about to be a turn of events. So we're gonna save it for next time. I'm so glad you chill with me and I can't wait to chill with you again. Make sure if you, you know, I hope you didn't just dive into this video and not watch the other videos leading up to this one for Twin Mirror. This is part four. So you got one, two, and three. If you haven't seen that, you need to go watch that. Um, you kind of already spoiled it for yourself, but hey, whatever. You know, it's your world. Do what you want. We're just chilling together. I'm so glad you joined me. And let's see what's going to happen when we go to this cove. I don't know. This is about to be something else because, you know, ugh. These are people who are in different situations and mental mental capacities are a little different. So let's see how this goes on the next uh, video that I post a part five next time for Twin Mirror. I'm so glad you joined me. Again, I'll say thank you. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate you. And let's see where this goes, y'all. I'm excited, let's see where this goes. Bye.